and hello again YouTube. I, uh, I kind of feel a lot more alert, awake and alive. Um, it's been a long ride down the Route 50 from 44th Street to I-17. By the way, it's uh, 6.57 p.m. Thursday, December 30th, so um, yeah, <laughs> it's taken me almost two hours to uh, kind of get up and get motivated and get here. And uh, I, I, of course, even after three months and being used to how long um, transit takes, I still can't. Um, whoa, juice. Uh, I still can't help but shake that, uh, you know, shake the fact that I know it. That's a 20 minute drive. Um, did I say? Did I see what time it is? Yeah, it's six. Yeah, I sure did. Six fifty-eight. Thursday, December thirty. Thursday, December thirtieth, twenty twenty-one. December Eve. Eve. Um, and kind of wanting to kick myself in the ass for uh, just I don't know. I I hit a deep depression last week and just I I couldn't get out of bed. Um, now, as far as like how productive I would have been had I kick myself in the ass and got out of bed is is debatable because I I believe it's been pretty cold and rainy this entire time but I'm honestly I'm not sure I rarely looked out outside my apartment uh, beyond walking to the back door and looking to see if Priscilla's vehicle was gone when I woke up alone um Uh, what was I going to discuss? Oh, so, just FYI, if you're wondering, where the hell is Dan walking right now? Um, last week, just because I've had so many waiting for goddamn forever type experiences, transferring from the 50 to the 60, and, and, and then the worst experience I ever had on the 60 two weeks ago, where the bus turned right at I-17, and went on a crazy detour for, as far as I could tell, absolutely no reason, and ended up dropping me off clear the hell over at 35th Avenue, and um, uh, Bethany Hole, um, nearly a mile and a quarter from Bullocks, you know, past Bullocks, without giving me an opportunity to simply get off the bus when I was just merely across the freeway from it, or, or anybody else that was on the bus that wanted to get off that bus without going in, into God knows where we were going. We were never given, you know, informed. And, and, and I'm pretty sure it meets the legal definition of uh, kidnapping, but I, I never followed up on that because I don't expect the city of Phoenix to do a damn thing about it. Uh, I'm supposed to get, a, you know, some kind of a return call or a... Uh, I was supposed to hear back from a supervisor from... Uh, is there a hurry in there? I uh, was supposed to get some kind of a call from a supervisor at Valley Metro, and I haven't heard back. Um, oh, you know what? Then again, <laughs> they tried to call me back after Christmas Eve, my phone's went off, so there's that. Um, I actually did make some progress today, trying to find out what the hell is up with that. <coughs> um, I, I did the same thing that I did on Christmas Eve, and tried to call Priscilla, and it went to... Uh, Went to automation, but it was different automation than it was the last time. Uh, and I forget exactly what the... Oh, I gotta love how there's no sidewalk here and I'm forced to actually walk out into the road. Awesome. Uh, so, um, yeah, I uh, had... Um, you know, so the recording basically said that... Uh, by the way, I'm walking my screen. curious. I dig that billboard. I really do. Not a big fan of GCU, but I dig the, just the design and everything of that billboard. Uh, so, um, wow, my train of thought is just easily derailable today. Um, it reminds me of a t-shirt I saw once. It said, uh, it said, the worst thing about ADD is dot, dot, dot. Oh, look, there goes a butterfly. So, I'm making pretty good time walking. I'm already at Coulter, which is uh, 
which is uh, from where I got off the bus, three quarters, of, or I'm sorry, one quarter of the way to uh, Bullocks. So, hey, you know, I remember when I drove, or yesterday, I'm sorry, exactly a week ago, on uh, Christmas Eve Eve, and I chose to walk up 27th Avenue rather than wait for the bus, which ended up saving me quite a bit of time. I remember I timed how long it takes me to walk a quarter mile. <laughs> and do I remember how long that was? Of course I don't. Um, well, so uh, I'm walking in dirt and it is not, not very user friendly. Of course it's dark so y'all can't see it very well and, uh, and, and just for the record it's dark so I can't see it very well either. Hopefully I don't trip and fall on my ass. Um, dang. I was talking about like four different things and I forgot all of them. Um, Oh yeah, so the, the first Obama phone, I got a recording, and it definitely seemed different than the one I got when I tried to call Priscilla on um, on Christmas Eve, when I went to the bus stop, I was just wanted to see what was up with her. Um, so the, uh, gosh, I'm trying to remember what exactly it said, but it was basically, you know, hey, there's a... Uh, um, you, it was something like you're you're out of minutes, or there's you know no service on the on this phone, or thanks for calling Insurance Wireless, something. Something. Anyway, what, what definitely came across different is instead of immediately getting a uh, oh, look at this a dot, we're hiring. State jobs, AC state jobs, don't go. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I've always had a huge, huge fan. I've mentioned it many, many times on this channel. I think I've done a lot of videos about uh, urban planning and highway planning and whatnot. And I've always mentioned I've had a strong interest in in, in uh, roads and highways and stuff. So yeah, I highly doubt they're gonna hire a fellow though, so there's that. Anyway, moving on, I'm on Georgia Street, that's the uh, name of that's the street that I lived on, not in this neighborhood, mind you, but that's the street I lived on as a child, between the ages of, I want to say, four and six-ish, that's where I lived when I went to kindergarten, and uh, that's where I lived when my parents separated, so, yeah, yeah just seeing that, seeing that. Georgia Street sign. Just boy, does that bring some crazy flashbacks of early childhood. Anyway, um, the last time I went this direction, not counting driving, although driving, I never really go down this access road because as soon as I go south of, uh, um, oh, there's a semi. Give him some room. Um, as soon as I go south of. Uh, Bethany, or should I say the street directly south of Bethany, because you can pull that off as well. I'm just popping right on the I-17, not messing with this Furniture Road. But I do remember one time, uh, much earlier this year, like the first time I was without a car while I was working at Bullocks. Um, and to be honest, I can't recall if I was vlogging at that time or no, but it's hard to believe I'm still doing this. But anyway, I uh, I remember coming this direction. Uh, well, not going this direction, but coming this route, going in the opposite direction on my Lime scooter, and and thought that it wasn't a very scooter-friendly route. But but it, it wasn't bad. Of course, it was also like uh, um, about three o'clock in the morning. So. I want to say being a pedestrian is a lot safer at three o'clock in the morning. That's 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 debatable, but it, at least cars are considerably less of a threat to you as a pedestrian at three o'clock in the morning. Um, although I'm sure, as y'all have seen through these vlogs, I'm not in the least bit nervous about walking through really sketchy neighborhoods. So. Most, mostly because I. I feel like kind of give off an, an air of 
scarier than anybody else. I, uh, I, 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 I use judo as self-defense. You don't know if I got a gun. You don't know if I got a knife. Okay, I'm at uh, Missouri, so halfway, halfway to the bar. This is surprisingly not a bad walk, and and feels like it wastes less time than waiting for a bus transfer. Oh, so I was should have mentioned the bus transfer thing. So that's the reason I'm walking. Kind of the same thing that happened last week. Um, yeah, just okay. This is. I do not like how little space I have to walk in against oncoming traffic. And at this point, there's so much growth off the asphalt that I can't really walk through it. With grass and weed growth. Um, it really does upset me that there's no... I said, like, there's no sidewalks. Um, along the I-17 access roads. It seems like that's something ADOT should really be working on, or the city of Phoenix should really be working on, one or the other. Uh, it, it does kind of upset me that, that in building highways and freeways that um, other modes of transportation are not part of the, uh, part of the design. You know, it seemed to me for every freeway that was built, there, there would be a need to also determine how um, how how pedestrians and, and and bicyclists would go that same route instead of you know just oh well, we solve this problem by putting up a sign that says uh, cyclists and pedestrians not allowed, which is you know doubly weird for this because it's they. You know, this is an area that, as far as I know, this access road is an area where pedestrians are allowed. In fact, it has to be an area that pedestrians are allowed because a lot of businesses and residents are only accessible from this access road. Huh. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, so many issues with trying to take the, the 60 just excessively long transfer times happening over, uh, over on... Uh, over in the Biltmore, uh, buses not showing up when they're supposed to show up, um, and 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 then that that detour was just enough to make me never want to ride the 60 again. Although I, I have since that detour rode the 60, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, that's interesting. There's an alley type. Yeah, it's not really showing up on the video, but there is an alley type access way that has no connectivity as an alley because there's a uh, drainage ditch on the access road. So, you know, once upon a time I was seriously thinking about doing a series of videos called uh, Unintentional Pedestrian Infrastructure or something like that. And to be honest, I only ever made the one video about on that. Uh, I'm gonna wait here until that video gets past. There's no way you can see me coming around this side. Yeah, I'd have got whacked. No way you can see me. You can see me come around the tree. You, on the other hand, can see me, so slow the fuck down. All right, so, uh, um, God, it's made me think of that Road Guy Rob video about how dangerous it is, da recent video about how dangerous it is for, uh, for oh, character, nice. Uh, how dangerous it is for pedestrians to cross freeways and how there's so much work put into the vehicle crossings of freeways and, and, and so often the pedestrian route looks like a complete afterthought and uh yeah this i do feel very subjected to getting hit well there's another one of these walk across the ditch and there's an alley that's not an alley. I wonder how many of these there are in this neighborhood. It's very interesting. Um, that you feel really on the safe side because this is a very, this access road is a very narrow single lane and since it's a one way uh, traffic, I don't know what the speed limit is, but people fly on this thing and it's dark so I am not visible. And the fact I'm wearing all black clothing 
isn't really helping my situation either. So. <coughs> um, so anyway, using this route because uh, don't just had so many massive time-wasting mishaps trying to get from the 50 to the 60, and last week instead of dealing with that, I decided to. Uh, Whoa, I almost walked into a huge... That would hurt me, Yeah, I don't see me walking this route again. This is, uh... It's not in the dark. This is, uh... Just... Yeah, I, I... I hear people talking all the time about how they don't... In, in comments about pedestrian... Uh, videos about pedestrian infrastructure talking about how... Oh, um, yeah, they don't walk because it's just not, it's just they don't feel like it's safe to walk. And to be honest, this is the first time in a long time where I've walked and really felt like, like I didn't have a safe place to walk, but yeah, this, this sucked. Uh, so anyway, that Road Guide Rob video about that, um, this grass looks good over this direction. Um, probably trespassing, but I really don't have a lot of options. Whoa, I'm still stepped in a goddamn hole. Um, so the, uh, yeah, it showed this, uh, pedestrian crossing. I believe it was in Utah where there was, oh, now this is great. Here we've got a pedestrian walkway coming out of the apartment complex. Presumably for, you know, eh, if you're walking, you can go to the sidewalk. And it just ends... It just ends right there. A whole lot of bird shit that nobody's doing anything about, and then it just ends, and, and you can't really see if there's there's a, there's a drainage ditch right there where there should be sidewalk. Nothing across that ditch. I do feel a lot safer on this side of the ditch. It's even as this grass is. Uh, here's another one of the sidewalks. That's awesome. Um. And there's the address of the building. This is 5722 North Canyon Highway. So this is definitely a, an apartment complex. It's, it's probably only accessible from this freeway. I mean, I don't know that for a fact, but that address pretty much gave it away as being something. Yeah, in fact, I can, I can look down through the parking lot and see that there's an alley. And I'm kind of familiar with the neighborhood behind it. It's a residential, uh, residential street behind it. So, yeah. This apartment complex only accessible from this access road. So everybody that lives here, and this is pretty, but imagine pretty comparatively low rent apartments. Everybody that lives here that doesn't have a car has to deal with these walkways coming out of oh, it's looking great. Uh, these walkways coming out of the front of their apartments to a walkway intended to connect to a sidewalk that's not only not there, but there's. Obviously loud vehicle on the, on the entrance to the freeway, which pretty much any vlog that I, many, many of my vlog, vlogs that are from over three months ago, you know, see me talking to myself as I get on that, on that on ramp. So, <sighs> so uh, same thing happened, uh, actually last week, last week was going on as I, uh, I guess I'm almost going out and get the hell off this uh, access road. Um, I had a... Uh, Yeah, people that live in these comp apartments here that don't drive have a hell of a lack of pedestrian infrastructure to try to get from their homes to uh, any kind of bus stop or even civil sidewalks. Hey, look, finally, an actual sidewalk. Yeah, Palo Verde Drive. Uh, and there is a Royal Inn. For some reason, I always thought that was... Uh, Apartments, but I guess it's a shithole hotel. Alright, good to know. Good to know. I could, uh, I could come in handy after a fun night of uh, Bullocks. <laughs> um, anyway, where was I? So, oh, yes, yeah, so I'm practically there and I haven't concluded any thoughts. That was the subject I was trying to talk about. Um, anyway, so the reason I walked this way uh, last time, yeah, 60 is terrible. I mentioned that like 
12 times. Um, the, uh, the, so last week I figured I'd just stay on the 50 all the way to 27th Avenue. And when I got there, check the, check the bus schedule to see how long it would be until I could, uh, transfer. And, and I guess that should have, it, like, like, duh, it's the same bus schedule today as it was last week. And it didn't work last week. So why would I expect it to be any different this week? I don't know. There's always a possibility the bus I'm on is running a little earlier or late. Or the one I'm trying to connect to is running earlier or late. And that happens so often that it often changes the dynamics of the transfers. But it's sometimes to, to my advantage. But, and I'm back to no, no sidewalks. Uh, anyhow, the... Uh, the... Um, yeah, I, I got there and I realized last week I got there and realized that it was much quicker to just walk up 27th Avenue. So anyway, this week as I was approaching 27th Avenue on the Route 50, I looked at the, uh, I didn't even look at the scheduling. I just kind of zoomed out and looked at the uh, real-time uh, bus tracking and I could see that the northbound 27 was right there at, uh, right there at, um, which call it at, uh, um, man, I train of thought is terrible today. Right there at um, Camelback, leaving, you know, the northbound, you know, leaving northbound at Camelback as I was approaching I 17 near 23rd Avenue. It's like, yeah, I missed that. It's gonna be another 30 minutes. Eh, let's see if I can just walk straight up the access road instead of backtracking for 27th Avenue. It definitely saved me some time. Anyway, I'm here. Um, I guess I didn't really explain what happened to the Obama phone, so I'll try to mention that uh, in a later video and kind of give an update on what happened with uh, Priscilla not being around. 